Welcome to Grand Prairie Update. I'm Don Johnson. And I'm Terry Briggs. Here's what's happening in your city. Grand Prairie is taking steps to make it safer for online consumers to do face-to-face -face transactions. The city is expanding the number of safe exchange zones from one to three, adding a new location on the north side and another at Joe Pool Lake. The three zones are well lighted and under constant video surveillance to offer more protection. In addition, the city is teaming up with the mobile app OfferUp to make it easy to find a safe zone. We have since been working with OfferUp in the development of MeetUp, which will automatically and through enhanced technology help guide OfferUp customers to the nearest safe exchange zone in their particular neighborhood. Chief Dye says the city had 13 robberies last year during peer-to-peer -peer exchanges. He believes those crimes can be reduced by linking mobile apps to the safe zones. And he hopes other sites will follow the lead of OfferUp. Yes, sir, dude. These students from South Grand Prairie High School are on a mission. Let's keep Grand Prairie beautiful. It's a day set aside for getting out of the classroom and back to nature. For something a little bit different. The first time the kids come out, they're like, oh, we have to pick up trash? Why would I want to do that? <laughs> and then once they get back into the woods and they actually start seeing all the trash in the river, they go, oh my gosh, we need to do something about this. That's exactly what everyone hoped would happen when the people that keep Grand Prairie beautiful teamed up with the environmental science classes at the high school three years ago. It makes them part of the city's green and clean campus program that promotes activities to enhance and preserve the environment. These kids adopted the stream at the Kirby Creek Nature Center next to their campus. Twice a year, it becomes their classroom and the lessons can be enjoyable and maddening at the same time. This is not supposed to be here. Yeah, that is something that's not supposed to be here. This is not supposed to be here. Nature can't take care of itself. We need to pick up our own trash. We need to pick up other people's trash. We need to not throw it out in the first place. We have all kinds of trash in our river, and it's there because someone said, oh, it's not a big deal if I throw out something. But if everyone says it's not a big deal, then we do have a big deal. We have 185,000 people's worth of trash out there. If everybody had been throwing the trash away, we haven't been coming in these woods and picking up trash. So keep the trash in a trash can. What makes it enjoyable for you? Uh, I don't know, it just like, it feels good doing something for the world. We only have one planet and, well, we kind of need to take care of it. This ends up being one of the favorite days of the year, really. And then they start talking about it more, too, because they see some of those spots they can't get to the trash, and it really irritates them. So then it takes it out from just here, but it takes it to the other areas that they start picking up more of that trash and understand it a little bit more. It's an honor to help GP out. Um, I'm trying to communicate, reach out to others, especially third and fourth graders about it, and let them know to spread the word. But other than that, it's amazing. To find out more about all of the Keep Grand Prairie Beautiful programs or for general information, go to gptx.org slash kgpb. Rehearsals are in full swing in Grand Prairie for Cirque du Soleil Curious. The acrobatic show opens Friday, so the nearly four dozen performers only have a few more hours to practice. And that includes Ann Weisbecker, who rides the aerial bike. Weisbecker has been a circus performer since she was 11 years old. She says the bike is her most challenging routine so far. So it's a, actually a real bike, so I can ride on the stage, but also fly with it. So it's very unstable, it's, uh, everything is always moving. So it's quite difficult to do an aerial act on it because each time you have um, a point where you can put your weight, you always have to be careful because it's moving at the same time. But actually, it looks like I'm sitting upside down, but I'm basically holding myself with one hand. So that's the hardest part. And after to find your balance at the same time and move your feet, it's so like, uh, it looks like I'm sitting and pedaling, but I'm just holding myself. Cirque du Soleil Curious is designed to transport the audience to a Victorian era carnival. It plays under the Big Top Tent at Lone Star Park from February 17th through March 26th. For tickets, showtimes, and other information, visit CirqueDuSoleil.com. 
any interest from bank accounts? No, we don't know. We don't have a, you have a bank account? Hard to believe, but it's tax season again. In Grand Prairie, the AARP is offering a free service to help elderly and low-income residents fill out and file their tax forms. The tax service is available Monday and Wednesday from 11 a.m. until 3 p.m. through April 17th at the Veterans Event Center. If you decide to use the service, be sure to bring last year's tax return, your 1099 forms, and W-2 statements. Officials say the professional preparers follow strict rules to protect that information. Every, every counselor and greeter to the program has to take a, uh, uh, what they call a standards of conduct test. That explains that we're supposed to protect the taxpayers' social security information, any information they have on W-2s or 1099 forms for their tax return. We do not discuss this with anybody else. Uh, the software we're using this year goes up to the cloud like last year. Nothing is in our computers. We do not keep any paperwork on any documents that they bring to us. The organization says Grand Prairie is one of the busiest locations for the tax service. That's it for this edition of Grand Prairie Update. Hope you'll join us again next time.